I think a big thing about one of the things about fitness and health is again people throw a million different things at you all at once. So in throw twenty different things at you, you end up doing one. Like what's the point of yeah, that? Yeah, you like, lost. You're nineteen yeah. you're you're one minus nineteen. And a lot of people this is the biggest thing that holds people back is all or nothing mentality. Right? Like I didn't do it perfectly. I didn't do everything that you said. Mm. So I failed. Right. And that is the worst one, it's the biggest it's the biggest reason why people quit. Um, anything. Um, but also, in my opinion, um, but also it's the biggest, it's just, it's the biggest thing that keeps people from actually making progress any, in any way. Mm. It's just that, well, I didn't do it perfectly. And so because I didn't do it perfectly, screw it or right, throw their hands yeah, up, throw their hands up. And, and we talk about that and like, that's not commitment. It's the opposite of commitment. Right. So, you know, I need you to recognize that even if you don't do everything, you're still doing some things and you need to recognize that and of course we can work on you know getting the other stuff in line but if you're willing to do something and you're always doing something and you're doing fine right so there's a little bit of tough love and there's a little bit of self-realization you know? and then acknowledgement of well, let's talk about why you did that yeah like where were you where was your where was your state of mind like yeah. you, okay so you did some stuff that you didn't really want to do or you hadn't planned on doing in fact you tacked yourself out of it before you even went into that situation you did it anyway you know what happened yeah you, you know was it was it a commitment thing or was it is it the end mm-hmm. ultimately it isn't yeah i mean and then and then early on in the process too it's just really again just setting some expectations right. of like what's that's immediate up yeah, front like yeah. that has to be because again it's like you know if you're working with somebody and they're and we say like okay well this is your goal well they're not doing what is necessary then that needs to be brought up and and we need to address that right away yeah some valuable lessons here for coaches and for clients for somebody that might be walking in or trying thinking about getting a nutrition coach and walking in i mean alex what you're doing is you're outlining hey what before you go and talk to somebody if you just spent maybe a little bit more time thinking about the things that you're bringing up right now like what am i really committed to doing what is what is my you know what how do my values align with my goals like what is this really about for me what do i see my distractions really being what's my history of this stuff Mm -hmm. what are the things that i can share with my coach to put my coach in a position to help me win because that's what you're ultimately doing and yeah. i think you sort of suggested like you start stacking the wins which creates momentum yeah. right and we don't the little wins count right sure. it's yeah. it's the you know you're not you're not trying to win the war all in one day right? yeah. we're trying to get fit all in a week right we're not trying to lose 10 pounds in a week we're just trying to get little wins so that these things happen consistently over yeah. time yeah because wins feel good everybody yeah. likes winning yeah